Right, hi everybody. Now I wanted to do something simple in Windows 10 that I could do on my Windows XP without even worrying about it. And that was, I got this picture off the internet of everybody I recognise that, that one. And what I wanted to do was put my face in here. And um, I could do that very easily in Windows XP Paint, but in Windows 10 Paint, there's some features missing that say I couldn't do it. Or if they are, I couldn't find them. And seeing as there's no instructions with MS Paint, um, I'll show you what I mean. Right, I'll close this. And what I actually done was, um, yeah, uh, I wanted to go like that. I wanted to open this in MS Paint, open with, that's right clicking down to paint and there I'm in paint and I want to put my face in there now my face was from another photo so I want to paste it from paste from and it's looking for it and we want my head there's the picture now normally there was a function all this white round here in the old paint you had a you, you had a, a a a clicker on the brushes or wherever it was i can't remember i will show in a minute um that you could click on and it would uh, the background no matter what the background was it would get rid of this white so i want to put my face over here and you can't do it in the new paint if you can somebody i'll have to put it in the uh, in the comments list and say well this is how you get it in this program because I've I've hunted round and round and round and round and I can't see how you do it to get rid of this white background like you could in the old paint so anyway that was what what my problem was so what I've done just shut this because I've still got my old uh, Windows XP laptop um, I went I've I bunged it on and I went into Windows XP and I done a bit of searching around on there to find out where they saved MS Paint uh, within Systems 32 or whatever it was uh, on there and I managed to um, download it. Managed to I just clicked, right clicked and copied it and um, copied it. And then put it onto my memory stick, which is we're working from. This is my my F, which is a uh, USB um, 32 gig thing uh, that plugs into um, Microsoft XP on my old laptop. If it was a SD card, it wouldn't recognise it because I've got a 32 gig SD card, but it works in my Windows 10 laptop, but it don't work in my Windows XP laptop. So I thought, well, I'll buy myself a, a USB memory stick. That plugs and works in both machines quite happily, so I wasted my money on an SD card. Never mind. Um, I'll use it in a camera probably at some point, somewhere, or my phone or whatever. Anyway. Um, it's because Windows XP doesn't recognise anything bigger than about two gigabytes or whatever being plugged in externally. Uh, except it does recognise it when it's a USB card. But anyway, back. Oh, I've digressed. Anyway, back to the uh, picture of me and in this T-shirt. So got hold of that out of Windows XP, MSPaint.exe from um, Windows XP copied it to my stick and if I run it now there it runs straight away in Windows 10 and the feature I needed was I'll go up here edit paste from uh, where are we uh, where's the t-shirt the t-shirt there's the t-shirt without me going to edit paste from this is all coming off my memory stick, my head, and there it is with the white, uh, which was annoying. But if on this 
old paint, you could click here and it would just show the background. It would show what I, anything in white would be shown through, you know, whatever we are, picture I was going of. Because look, I can move my head in there, woof, move it about, do that. And there's my head on the picture perfectly well, move out of the way, bing, that's it. And it's done. Now I can't do that in the new paint, the new MS paint. Uh, because they haven't got this feature in it where you can go there and put the background in or the you can flick and You know you click on this and it lets you see through as you can see there's the white in the background there um, Click on that one and it makes it trans any anything that's white in the picture that's on top goes transparent and uh, Ah, that's how I done it and obviously I clicked and saved it and uh, the picture I've got clicked and saved already done it and that's me in the t-shirt and there you go there's me in the t-shirt and um, I've actually now put that on my desktop and I've cropped it I've cropped it down to the size of me in um, the uh, where is me in the me in the t-shirt I'll show you how I cropped it using this uh, if ram view program I thoroughly recommend this little program you get it free from uh, just Google uh, I R F A N view uh, V I E W if ram view or arf and view however you want to pronounce it I don't care um, just go into uh, oh you don't go into anything you just go in there up near the corner click on I'm left clicking dragging over right there you go all I want to do is get rid of that white at the bottom go into edit go in down to crop to section, boof, there you go, that's my picture, it's cropped, it's made to the size I want it, if I want to know the information on the picture, I click on the I button, there's all the information about the picture, how many pixels, and what size it is, where it is, boom, 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 uh, yeah, okay, that's all the information on that, if I want to test it, I go to um, display options, I'm in view, display options, uh, fit to window that's the actual size of it as you can see so it's it's quite a big picture but you know it's it's um doing i'm just going to change this back because i in my display options i always have it set to fit in your image to window because i have a smaller window so i can get to things like if i want to get back here and do this um and then i can do that and move move stuff about and do whatever but there's me pitch i'll put it back on top um and that's how you do it yeah so that's how i done me picture yeah can't be bad close this down thanks for watching that's how you do something simple in paint the old paint i will do another video to show you how to get to and get off the old ms paint from Windows XP and it runs perfectly happily in Windows 10. That is it. Now I've got to find out what was it? It was Control Function Shift and F12 and that would that should stop this. So bye bye. <laughs>